Hello. My name is Window, and we're going to do something a little bit different. So, what you're looking at is the... We're looking at the replays for some of the matches that uh, happened this week in the UBL. Um, one thing I kind of wanted to do is, so not all the matches are going to be featured on someone's YouTube channel. But, this is kind of a cool interesting league, so I kind of wanted to do it myself. So any matches that I thought, you know what, this isn't going to get any uh, visual attention, uh, or we can have a, have a look at replays for, uh, we will do. So, I haven't seen this match. Uh, I actually wanted to do one of these before. Um, I've actually won the players on the screen. Uh, Turnip Salt, aka uh, a fat rat, uh, one of the coaches, uh, was actually in one of the matches I wanted to look at. But, um, turns out uh, one of the other coaches is actually doing a live commentary for that match as well. So, I didn't want to take away from that. Um... But I thought, if no one's going to do some of the other matches, we can have a look. So, here we are. So, we've got a couple games here. I'm going to do these for, like, as many as I can. And, yeah. Just because I like, I like talking about Pokemon, so, yeah. Here we go. So, we have Turnip Silk, a.k.a. Um, a Fat Rat. Um, that they also go by. Uh, and their whole team is Mega Gengar, Dialga, Politoed, Kingdra, Mudsdale, Ditto, Copagrigus, Mashana, Amoongus, Thundras Incarnate, Excelgor, and Pertic. And we can kind of see that on the bottom. Uh, we've got that Mega Gengar, we've got the Raincore and the Politoed Kingdra, we've got the Dialga, we've got the Amoongus, we've got the Thundras Incarnate. So, definitely left a cool, we definitely left a, a couple bits behind it. Probably didn't make sense. Maybe the Mashana didn't make sense. Honestly, he brought, he, he, he brought, I believe, the same six Pokemon last week as well. And I can see why. They're some of the strongest Pokemon on this team. Uh, versus, uh, oh my god. Uh, versus Silverstone or uh, Airstream, as they also go by. Uh, actually, the, uh, the owner of the league. Uh, with Mega Lucario, Xerneas... Uh, Breloom, make a uh, regular Sableye, sorry, Alola Marowak, Vicavolt, Jellicent, Miltank, regular Gengar, Flygon, P2, and Charizard. So, and again, we can kind of see that. Um, but we see no Xerneas. And we see no Mega Lucario either. So, interesting that he chooses not to do that, but it looks like he wants to focus on Trick Room, which would make sense. But it does mean you have to have an answer to, to Amoongus. So, let me also turn music off so we can have our own music. That's some nice, chill stuff. Whenever I want to do, like, some of these, uh, chiller ones, I want to have some nice, chill music. But obviously, for my own battles, I want to some some nicer, hyper music. But yeah, so let's get this started. So, we've got game one here. Um, so, I'll, I'll, I'll pause in between turns just to say what I kind of, my, what I would think, because again, I don't know. So we've got Amoongus and Gengar lead versus Marowak and P2. So yeah, this definitely looks like a Trick Room lead. And maybe they had some kind of issues, uh, like getting stuff set up. So I presume that's what that's about. But yeah, so, and Fire clearly identifies this lead as Amoongus. Uh, also, like, Rage Powder is really nice. But yeah, like, against the little Marowak, you gotta, kinda gotta be careful. But obviously having an Amoongus in Trick Room is one of the scariest things on the planet. And then you've also just got Mega Gengar to potentially trap things as well. And is really good against this Marowak. It's a really good position for Turnips. So immediate Mega Revolution and Rage Powder. And goes for the P2. Does not want to... Does not want Trick Room going up and that Amoongus is gone. I would probably not have done that. I would have taken the KO on Marowak. You're fine leaving Amoongus in Trick Room. Because Amoongus, Trick Room, Sporing, everything is like the best thing on the planet. Unless like Sableye comes in and starts taunting you. And you know, that's when that's when things get a little tricky, but yeah. But now you've got two really fast Pokemon in. 
against like P2 Marowak. So, and obviously Marowak with Lightning Rod is not the nicest thing on the planet. But we did see Flare Blitz with no recoil. So yeah, we do. See, we can get a Thunder Wave there, which really is just Power Hacks. So yeah, not a great start. The Thunder Waves are nice for the Power Hacks, but yeah, you're not getting a lot of value. And yeah, just this is just a full Trick Room sweep. A real full trick room sweep, yeah. You, <laughs> they were not prepared, and the freeze as well. That's really unfortunate. Yeah, that was a real quick first game. Yeah, just you can't let trick room to go up, especially with a Lola Marowak. If you'd left your Amoongus around, like Amoongus is one of the best answers to trick room, because obviously something will run safety goggles, but neither of these two are running safety goggles. You need either light here, and you need uh, the thick club here. So, really, really quick game one. And then, we'll see if there's some ad adaptation that Terms could make. Um, so, let's see. I'm also going to switch sides because I want things to be consistent for video purposes. Same leads there, and same leads here. Again, I think you have to go for this. You go for the Marowak and you, like, and you say, okay, I'll play in Trick Room. I've got no Moongus. Um, I... Don't know if I would have brought Thunderous in the back. If you think Trick Room will go up and you want to play in it, you probably want like Politoed then. You want some bulkier Pokemon because slowing things down doesn't really matter when you when Trick Room goes up. So yeah, Mega's immediately again. I don't see a reason not to. And the Marowak goes down immediately this time, and Spore the P2, so no Trick Room going up this time. Sableye comes in, Rage Powder, and Taunted immediately. That makes sense. And yeah, just going for the Sableye and trying to... Trying to kind of go for uh, the win condition of all my friends are dead. So this is already a really, really good start. The Wake Up happens and Trick Room goes up. And that's really bad. While you're Taunted and Trick Room is up, that's horrible. And if this thing has goggles, you are in a world of hurt. Um, you have to get this... Amoongus out of here so you can bring it back in once something dies and just and put and start just sporing things. Presumably the Vicar Vault because that's the most threatening thing on the field here. <laughs> uh, but protect Gengar. Close it right and just sludge bomb the P2. It's not enough damage. You need like really this Amoongus can't stay in here. It's not doing enough while it's taunted. Polito does come out so I like the adaptation here. Like You see Trick Room and you realize Thunderous isn't going to do anything in Trick Room. Takes a T-Ball. That hurts. It's a crit, sure, but even still. Politoed's usually a little bulky than that. And the Freeze again. Double Freeze, dude. That's so unlucky. That's really unlucky. And Thunderous comes against the Dialga Select. I would have said to leave Thunderous, personally. If you had Voltub, sure, sure, but yeah. From what I was reading in chat, this is a Specs Vicar Vault. And Specs Vicavolt in Trick Room. Yeah, that's not nice for anyone. This thing's kind of just popping off at this point, and Vicavolt just tears things to shreds in Trick Room. Especially with a choice. Gengar doesn't even pick up the KO. I think Sludge Bomb might have. So, yeah. That was a rough one for Turnips. Um, that's what happens when you're not prepared for Trick Room. It really is. Um,. Again, I think the the play what there simply was get like game one sure like if you weren't if you weren't expecting trick room fair but like you see a P two like just if you see no like you knew he had Mega Lupario and Xerneas and he didn't bring either like there's nothing on his team that's like the fastest thing on his team I think is genuinely like Balloon <laughs> he went hard trick room. So yeah, you just kind of have to be prepared for that. Uh, and again, the Moongus is a great trick room. But you can't let it just sit there with a taunt. It needs to do more than that. It needs to put things to sleep like this Vicar Vault. That's what a Moongus is really, really good for. And if you also were able to Rage Powder away uh, in the bots, really helps. But obviously, great play on uh, Silver's or Airstream's part. Um, just realize that like against Rain, like you knew there was Rain, like... Your naturally fast Pokemon sure, are good, sure, but I don't believe they have much, if any, speed control realistically, other than Trick Room. 
There's maybe like Tailwind Charizard. I can't remember if it gets Tailwind. Maybe Tailwind Flygon. Can't remember if it gets it. Don't believe either do. So there's no real speed control. You really want to focus on Trick Room. And they chose to do that. And it worked out in their favor. So really well played on their part. And I do believe that will be it for this video. So let me know if you enjoy these. Uh, I actually plan on making a second one right after this. But yeah. Uh, do all that good YouTube stuff and leave likes and stuff subscribe for more yay i'm really bad at youtube stuff so i'm just gonna leave you guys to it um and have a nice day